Now let's talk about a motion of a charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. Let's consider a uniform magnetic field of induction B acting along the Z axis. A particle of charge Q and mass M moves in a XY plane. At a point P, the velocity of the particle is V. So, the particle is here, it's moving here, it's in Q position, it's in R position with the velocity V. The magnetic Lorentz force of the particle is f vector is equal to q into v vector into b vector. So the f vector along acts along PO which is perpendicular to the plane containing v vector and b vector. Hence f vector acts along PO which is perpendicular to V. So the force acts perpendicular to the velocity and the force does not do any work. So the magnitude of the velocity remains constant and only its direction is changed. The force F acting towards the point O acts as the centripetal force and makes the particle to move along a circular path. At point Q and R, the particle experiences QO and RO respectively. Since V vector and B vector are at right angles to each other, so the force F is equal to BQV into sin 90 degree. Sin 90 degree is 1. So, force is equal to BQV. So, this is your magnetic Lorentz force you are able to see. The magnetic Lorentz force provides the necessary centripetal force. So, BQV is equal to MB square by R. So, removing this V and V here. And moving this R to this direction and BQ here, you got R equal to MV by BQ. So, the previous equation is R equal to MV by BQ. The radius of the circular path is directly proportional to the mass of the particle and velocity of the particle. So, V divided by R is equal to BQ by M. So, omega, that's your angular velocity, omega is equal to BQ divided by M. That's your magnetic Lorentz force. So, omega is equal to BQ divided by M, which is the angular frequency of the particle inside the magnetic part field. Now, if you talk about the period of rotation, how much fast the period it's rotating is 2 pi divided by omega, which is nothing but t is equal to, substituting omega here, you got t equal to 2 pi m divided by bq. So, this is the previous equations. And it indicates that the angular frequency and the period of rotation of the particle, it doesn't depend on the velocity of the particle and radius of the circular path. 